First at four, breaking news in Montgomery County, Maryland. Right now, dozens of firefighters are still responding to a massive fire at a quarry in the Rockville area. Sky 9 flew over the scene off of Piney Meeting House Road about three hours ago. As you can see, there are several stationary oil tankers now on fire. That fire has been burning for at least five hours now. Thanks for joining us on the news at four. I'm Larry Miller and I'm Simone D'Alba and we're told the company that owns the land is FO Day Industries and they make asphalt for roadways. Fire officials are expected to give an update on that fire any minute now and we'll bring that to you as soon as it begins. Yeah, we have team coverage as crews battle the flames. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath has more on the environmental effects of this fire. All right, but first let's begin with our Leslie Moreno who is on scene out there. Leslie, good afternoon. Hey guys, good evening. Yeah, we are just down the road from that fire on Piney House, Piney Meeting House Road here. You can still see uh, a little bit of that lingering smoke just over my shoulder here. We are at one of the nearby neighborhoods. They have several roads closed off, so this is as close as uh, we can get to the scene here. Uh, this all started at around 1145. Fire officials telling us the fire started at this massive quarry. The business here is FO Day Aggregate Industries on Piney Meeting House Road. This this company makes asphalt. When crews arrived, uh, we're told they found three stationary oil tanks on fire. The fire department says two of those tanks carried liquid asphalt and one was filled with used motor oil. Officials also telling us the fire also spread uh, to other nearby equipment. There were 75 firefighters on scene here. Gas and power companies also on scene monitoring the situation. Uh, thankfully, officials say the wind is in our favor, so no concern about the wind spreading the fire. No danger to community, but the big concern right now is the air quality. We're at a high elevation where the fire is located, so it's not, uh, you can see it's kind of going over the closest neighborhoods. Uh, so they might smell something, but we don't think it's at a concentration. At this point, uh, as far as our monitoring has indicated, it's not at a concentration where it's a health hazard, but just like a bad uh, pollution day, um, you know, any kind of smoke, uh, you know, limit your time outdoors, uh, maybe close your windows if you're concerned about that. If you have a health hazard, pre-existing condition, you know, just be aware of that to limit your time outdoors. The Maryland Department of Environment also on scene here, keeping an eye on this situation. Officials, as you heard, also asking residents in nearby neighborhoods to close their windows. Uh, the fire here will likely burn for the next few hours, but no risk of any sort of explosion. Uh, no word right now on what exactly caused this fire. We did, uh, we were just informed that there will be an update here in the next uh, five, 10 minutes. So we will have that update for you as soon as we get it. We'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, also some good news, at least right now. No reports of any injuries. Fingers, fingers crossed it stays that way. Thank you. Leslie, as we just saw in her live shot, you could see that thick black smoke and it might have some residents concerned about potential air quality impacts. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath spoke to an air quality expert just to learn more about what this might mean for our health. Caitlin? Yeah, and Simone, the good news is while the smoke certainly looks threatening, the impact to human health is likely smaller than if a diesel truss just truck just passed you on the sidewalk or if you were grilling using charcoal just about two hours ago I spoke to Dan Goldberg who studies air pollution at George Washington University who actually saw the smoke himself from the fire. Sure I live uh, not too far away from the actual fire. Um, I saw a little bit of a black plume. And this is something you study quite intensely so talk about what the potential health and environment impacts are from a fire like this. The fire was likely emitting a bunch of things. The first thing um, is carbon dioxide and, wa and water, but those are not toxic directly to human health. But what most people were seeing was the black carbon that's coming directly from the from the smoke, those are the black black particles, and those are toxic to human health. In reality, this you know this oil is burned everywhere in in our entire metropolitan area. You know, diesel fuel is probably very similar to what was burning. And Dan said, of course, if you are particularly sensitive to pollution and you notice smoke in your area, take precautions and wear a mask. But the fire was relatively short lived, or at least the bulk of the fire was relatively short lived. So pollution shouldn't last that much longer. And we did see a little bit of a breeze today that was helping to clear it out as well.
help with some of that haze that we're still seeing out there. Caitlin, thank you. Here's some more context about the company that owns the quarry. It's called FO Day Industries, and I did a deep dive on its website earlier this afternoon. You know, the company makes asphalt. It's been around since 1944, and it operates several other sites in Frederick, Forestville, and Waldorf.